Hello and welcome to the Power Archiver tutorial. We're very pleased to announce the official version of Power Archiver 2011. Uh, let's take a look at some features uh, that you'll find in Power Archiver 2011. Uh, we'll talk about some format improvements really quickly. Uh, Power Archiver has the fastest unrar engine on the planet, so handling your rar files and extracting them has never been faster. Uh, with Power Archiver 2011, uh, better tar support, and you can now compress and extract tar files over four gigs. Uh, UDF um, ISO files, UDF is uh, now included and supported by Power Archiver 2011. You can extract UDF ISO files as well. Uh, create them if you're a pro user. Pro users. Uh, have the ability cr to create UDF files supporting file sizes over 4 gigs and supporting Unicode. A uh, couple of new things we'd like to mention. Uh, the user access control compatibility uh, for Vista and Windows 7 um, enables you to compress or extract to folders and only admins can. So um, Power Archiver uh, will elevate itself to administrator user to enable you to compress to compress or extract to uh, a folder that only an, an administrator can and you can enable that here in the options and configuration menu volume shadow copy support um, enables you to compress files that are locked so your databases outlook emails or anything that's locked by windows and not comprehensible by any other uh, compression utility power archiver now can um, compress, the, compress those files or back them up by uh, enabling that option here. Um, let's take a look at, at our components here. Uh, our backup has been uh, reformatted and now once selected it shows you a brand new backup window with all the options uh, easily at your fingers here. Your recently used PBS scripts are listed. So let's take a look Add them here by simply double clicking your PBS script, your backup window will appear. Uh, the burning options have been updated as well as the uh, upload to FTP, which now includes uh, secure uploading to your secure FTP server uh, with the option of limiting your upload speed, uh, etc. Also, the VSS support is now included in backup. So you can back actually back up your um, important files which Windows locks, uh, such as your Outlook email, your PST file, your databases, or, or any other locked files. Um, the FTP component has been built from the ground up. Now supports uploading to sec and connecting to secure FTP sites. Um, the uh, advanced queue window gives you all the uh, options to make your uh, FTP transfers easy and effective. Uh, simply enter your uh, FTP login info, click connect, and there you are. And then you can set your options for the queue for the queue window here with the global transfer limit. Uh, the queuing of folders uh, has an advanced option here, um, and etc. Now looking at the burner screen. Um, Added is the copy disk to disk option. Uh, also, the new design, which gives you uh, uh, faster faster availability to the burning option that you need by using these uh, buttons. Um, patch beam, patch beam has been uh, also incorporated and upgraded in this version. So again, by using patch beam, you can update all of Power Archiver's components all at once. Uh, at a much slower rate. Um, also, in addition, you can you can run the burner application as a standalone. So if you just pin it to your Windows 7 taskbar, click it here, and there you go. You can run the burner without opening the uh, Power Archiver. So there you go. You know we've worked very hard over the last year to bring you the fastest and best version of Power Archiver ever. We hope you enjoy it. Uh, download it at www.powerarchiver.com. Thank you very much.